Good morning, everywhere, drivers, uh, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, everybody out in the social media sphere on YouTube and uh, on Facebook. Uh, this is Driver Dave, uh, otherwise DW Oni, coming to you live. Uh, this is our third installment for our weekly meditation and devotion, otherwise known as a WMD. You never know when a WMD is going to hit, and today it hits this morning. So, uh, the month of January, 2023, we're on, we're looking at uh, the process of being sanctified. Uh, the beginning of the week, uh, we we hit these every Wednesday, and so they're basically impactful little Bible studies, but they are devotionals, and so that's uh, uh, it's not really theologically driven, but it's actually scripturally driven. We we look into the to the Bible for the answers, and uh, we uh, basically let the book read us. And so, uh, look at me as kind of a guide today, but uh, we want the Holy Spirit actually to be the one that takes over here. So, uh, today we're going to be uh, talking about the uh, process of being sanctified. In previous weeks, on the fourth uh, of January, we talked about uh, trials and tribulations that we go through. When you come into Christ, uh, there's a big target on your back a lot of times. Uh, but uh, when you're when you walk in faith, that faith is oftentimes proven. And so we looked at some of those things. If you are interested in uh, reviewing some of the former conversations that we'd had, all you need to do is hit that hashtag WMD, and it'll take you through some previous. Uh, uh, conversations we'd had uh, the week after that we talked about uh, coming out of darkness uh, or if you can put in hashtag coming out or hashtag darkness or WMD uh, you'll hit last week's and if you hit ha if you just type in uh, in Facebook uh, maybe in YouTube I'm not sure if it works that the hashtags work in YouTube or not but uh, if you put in hashtag uh, trials hashtag tribulations that'll take you directly to what we just did uh, a couple of weeks ago. And so uh, that will kind of get you caught up here. But we are also on YouTube. Uh, so these uh, continue to go out. And matter of fact, I'm going to see if I can, I don't know if I can share this with others or not. Um, I think there was a process at one time that we were able to do that. Uh, but I don't see where that's a possibility. So we'll just share this afterwards. Uh, this is going to go live on on my page. So uh, actually, let me let me take a look at something real quick. I'll see if I can make that work. No, it isn't going to work. Okay. <laughs> there was a time where I was able to share this uh, pretty conveniently, but I've already forgotten how to do that. But let's move along. Um, today, we're going to be reading out of, if you have your Bibles with you, uh, we're going to open up into 1 Peter uh, chapter 1 and chapter 2. We're going to do some short readings out of there. And uh, today, we're going to learn a technique, a Bible technique called the Law of First Mention. And so the process of sanctification or sanctified actually begins in Genesis. And then we're going to go through a couple of places, but uh, ultimately it leads to Jesus Christ. And uh, we're going to look at some of the aspects around that. So let's go to the Lord in prayer before we open up into the word. Father God, Lord, I just thank you for the time that, that you've made. Uh, Lord, this is the day that you've made today. Uh, Lord, I thank you for getting me up early enough to... to uh, to just commune with you, to have time with you, to pray, uh, Lord, and uh, and Lord, out of the conversations that we've had over the last few days and few weeks, and, and even over the last month, there's a lot of overflow that comes out of that. Lord, I thank you that you're continuing to change me and uh, also the listeners here day to day, Lord. Your word says that all souls are mine, Lord, and so we apply our souls to you. Uh, to hearken to you, to listen to you, to hear your word, Lord, that it would come in and penetrate our hearts, Lord, and that we could hide that word inside of our heart, Lord, and be transformed more like Jesus Christ, which is in whose name we come, Lord. We lift up your name this day in the name of Jesus. Amen. So anyway, sanctification, fun stuff, uh, sometimes a dangerous field to get into, but let's turn to uh, the epistle of Peter, uh, a lot of times when we go in through these Bible studies, we'll be talking a lot about Paul. Sometimes we'll go to the gospel. Uh, but today we're going to be seeing what Peter has to say about that. So if you turn to 1 Peter, uh, the first uh, epistle of Peter, chapter 1, we're going to go, uh, we're going to just start out right there in, I believe, verse 1 and 2, just to kind of get an overview of it. And so let's see if I can turn this around and, and we'll be, turn my light on there. Okay, there we go. First Peter. I'm going to get my little pointy stick out. 
And uh, of course, the only reason I bring up uh, chapter one, verse one and two here is that uh, we have, uh, we want to see what the epistle, epistle is a letter and who it's written to. And so Peter's writing to uh, the strangers scattered uh, throughout Pontus, Galatia, Cappadocia, Asia, and Bithynia. Uh, but it's also to the elect, elect according to the foreknowledge of God the Father. So there are some folks out there that say that Peter was writing specifically to to the uh, Jews that believed in Yeshua, uh, but uh, he's writing this letter to you and me. I mean, let's just be let's let's get real with this. This is he's writing this to us. So the elect, according to the fo foreknowledge of God the Father, through sanctification. There's that word we're looking for there. Now this isn't our focus verse. We're going to go to that here in a little bit, but that's what it's all about here. Uh, through through God, through sanctification of the Spirit. Into unto obedience and sprinkling of blood of Jesus Christ, grace unto you and peace be multiplied. And so he he's blessing us here while we're reading the word. And so as we move down in chapter one, first Peter chapter one, okay, we get a blessing here in the first couple of, with the introduction of the letter itself. And then we're going to move down here to verse 13. So just a few down here and see, we have a paragraph marking. And uh, it says, Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, and be sober, and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ. Now, that's our opening here for the reading, but I want to turn just uh, one page over here to our focus verse. We're going to read that, and then we're going to go back and start all over again. But uh, our focus verse really here is on uh, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 16, the last part, that's B. And uh, when we when we divide verses in half, we'll do a, part A. So part A of, of verse 16 would be because it is written. Part B would be, be ye holy for I am holy. And that's what we're going to focus on. So 1 Peter chapter 1 verse 16 says, be ye holy for I am holy. Be ye holy for I am holy. And we look over here, we see there's, he's uh, bringing up, cycling back in Leviticus 11.44. But that's not where the first mention is. That's not where the first mention is. The first mention of 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 sanctification is actually mentioned in Genesis chapter two and verse three. And so that, if you if you want to turn to your Bible, you can read about that. But that is talking about the Sabbath that the Lord uh, sanctified. He had com he had completed all of his work, and he sanctified the seventh day, the Sabbath day, and made it holy. That's the first time. Now, why is the first mention in important? Because when we have first mention, it usually helps us to understand what sanctification is all about. Sanctification is being set apart, and it's to be made holy. Now, Jesus Christ uh, helped us in the Gospels to help us to understand exactly what we're talking about as far as what the Sabbath was made for. The Sabbath was made for man, not man for the Sabbath. The Sabbath was made for you and me. That setting apart, that day was made for you and me. And in Christ, he's the Lord of the Sabbath. And when we're in Christ, we are also made holy. So let's go ahead and read 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 13. And uh, I thank you for... You guys wanting to join in here, but this is just, this is, it's interactive in the sense that I can read your, your comments, but uh, yeah, this is, we're just trying to make this quick and impactful. So let's just go ahead and read together. Wherefore, gird up the loins of your mind, be sober and hope to the end for the grace that is to be brought unto you at the revelation of Jesus Christ as obedient children, not fashioned, not fashioning yourselves according to the former lusts in your ignorance. So, so he's saying to change your processes. I apologize for my dirty fingernails there, folks. I really don't like handling the Word of God that way. That's why I got this pointer. If you guys wonder why the pointer's here, it's because I don't like looking at my dirty fingernails when I'm handling the Word of God. Verse 15, but as he which hath called you is holy, so be ye holy in all matter of conversations, because it is written, be ye holy, for I am holy. Um, in Leviticus, by the way, uh, and I put this in the uh, supporting scripture, um, it, the uh, there's another mention of uh, of sanctification in Exodus 13:2 and Exodus 19:10. 
Uh, those are the second and third mentions. And they kind of helped us because uh, in Exodus 13, 2, God calls down and says to sanctify the people, to separate them out. And they were in Egypt. So let's move on. Because it is written, be holy for I am holy. Verse 17, and if you call on the Father who without respect of persons judgeth according to every man's work, pass the time of your sojourn here in fear. Pass the time of your sojourn here in fear. And we're just going to go down to 23. We're going to keep working. For as much as you know that you were not redeemed with corruptible things as silver and gold from your vain conversations uh, received by tradition from your fathers. And here's a promise here. It's a promise fulfilled. That's what that, so that star means over there. But with the precious blood of Christ as of a lamb without blemish and without spot. In order to even understand these scriptures, we must believe on Jesus Christ, that fulfillment. That's what that's all about. We must believe on Jesus Christ. Without this, it's just foolishness uh, the, because the carnal man cannot receive what's being said right here. And uh, if you guys are interested in knowing more about Jesus Christ, uh, please reach out to us. Uh, reach out to myself or anybody uh, that uh, is uh, has been... Uh, walking with Christ for a while. But anyway, let's move on. Verse 20, who verily, that's talking about Jesus Christ, who, who verily was foreordained before the foundation of the world, but was manifest in these last times for you, who by him do believe in God that raised him up from the dead and gave him glory that your faith and hope might be in God. Because we have Jesus Christ, we have atonement with God. Seeing you have purified your souls and obeying the truth through the Spirit unto unfeigned love of the brethren, see that you love one another with that with with a pure heart, fervently. And that's what happens when we're in the Spirit. We end up having a love for one another just as much as we have a love for God, if not more. Verse 23, being born again, not of corruptible seed, but of incorruptible by the word of God, which liveth and abideth forever. Is the word of God in you? I implore you, get it in you. For all flesh is as grass, all the glory of man as the flower of grass. The grass withereth and the flower thereof falleth away. But the word of the Lord endureth forever. And this is the word of by which the gospel is preached unto you. Boy, I love Peter when he talks about that stuff. I, I, went, I said I was going to 23, but we're going to go to 25. And we're just going to come over here to Exodus, or to 1 Peter chapter 2, verse, uh, verses 1 through 5. Wherefore, laying aside all malice and guile and hypocrisies, that's acting. Malice, guile, those are just evil speakings. And hypocrisies, acting. And envies and all evil speakings. <clears throat> As newborn babes, desire the sincere milk of the word that you may grow thereby. If so, be ye have tasted that the Lord is gracious. To whom coming as is gracious. Okay, reconnecting. But you're a chosen generation, a royal priesthood, a holy nation, a peculiar people, that you should show forth the praises of him who hath called you out of darkness unto his marvelous light, which in time past were not a people, but are now a people of God, which hath not obtained mercy, but now have obtained mercy. Okay, well, I probably ought to stop right here, brothers and sisters. Uh, there's a lot more in the WMD. Uh, those descriptions are right there. Uh, we try to make these short and impactful and relatable so that we're not just droning on for, you know, any more than 20 minutes or so. But we try to keep these short as about five to 10 minutes tops. But <clears throat> once again, if you read in the description, uh, this is all about sanctification. Hey, John, how you doing, brother? Um, the process of sanctification, it, it's, uh, it's one that starts with salvation. It is one that we, uh, and the next week we're going to look at actually being immersed in Jesus Christ and how that immersion changes you. Uh, immersion and sanctification, consecration, these are all related and they are the ways that we are being made holy, which is the subject of what we just talked about, what we just read about. Be holy as I am holy. And so uh, that's what this whole thing is about. Uh, I apologize if there's been a break in the connection or anything else like that. We come to you live 
And uh, remember to, uh, if you guys are interested, uh, all these are going to be uploaded into YouTube uh, on the Brothers and Sisters in Christ. Uh, there's a page on there. You guys can go on there and join uh, with us over there. But uh, we deploy this from the Church for Truckers. Uh, um, actually, I, I do this on my personal page, and we share it on the Church for Truckers. And uh, that's where most of our ministry is uh, to the uh, transportation industry. But it's also to you, whoever you are. Uh, if God's calling you, open up the door and listen. Uh, he's waiting for you, waiting to have a good relationship with you, uh, ready to show you what your life's all about. Uh, God will uh, see you through, put his word inside of you, and, uh, and hopefully this was a blessing to you as much as it was to me. Now take this and go out there and be a blessing to somebody today. Drivers, God bless. Bye.